We've got this man next to me now, Mr. David White. Whitey, how good was that? I had to think of that, that in 25 amazing. seconds. I'm not so fast now, believe it. No, <laughs> all down to my ankle injury, nothing else. Oh, I can imagine, mate, I can imagine. Uh, that was very clever, very good. Yeah. Very, Do you like that? Very impressed with you. No, it's a uh, fantastic night. Wonderful to be in here with all the uh, the, the city uh, sort of people from the past. You know, people that I've known for 30, 30, 40 years, really. So it's fantastic being here. I was here last year at the event, and it's a, just a brilliant, brilliant dude. It's great for just, just all the, the people that are in this stadium every week to get their opportunity to come and, and, and speak speak with the players, which they, they can do, and the, the staff. There's, you know, the, some of the real sort of big wigs here, which is... It's fantastic, which is fantastic. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful event. And the relationship, Whitey, between the fans and p players like yourself, who are not just somebody who's played for the club, you're somebody who supports the club with a passion. Mm -hmm. And you're somebody that has been there in the times when we didn't have all the money, we didn't have all the riches, we didn't have all the top players. You know, you, you as a player, love the club, played for the club, give 100% for the club, but the fans are always stuck by the club, even in the darkest time. So nights like tonight mean a lot for everyone, don't I was, they? I was one of the players who wasn't a top player in those darkest times. Not having that. <laughs> Not having that. Not having that. No, you, you had no, your own song and everything. No, no, absolutely. No, you're dead. You, you, you're dead right. It's, uh, it's you know, there's there's been some, you know, when I, when I grew up, when I was very, very young, my dad still had memories of the, the, the 50s team and obviously the late 60s team and, and used to sing with the songs and everything. It's fantastic times and we you know there was, there was a, a period of time when you know we weren't that great but the uh, you know so the, these fans more than any other fans have deserved what's happened over the last few years and it's great that it's been done properly it's not you know people are saying you've, you've bought trophies but you know, you've only got to look around this place that you know this this stadium and the the uh, the academy is incredible. The whole area is, area is being regenerated. These people are doing it. They're doing it properly, and, it, and it's forever. And, th and that that's you know that's the greatest thing that's happening here. And what's it like being somebody who supports a club to actually pull on a shirt? You know, somebody who is absolutely rubbish at football like me can only dream of doing what you've done. I mean, what what's that feeling like of walking out at Main Road? Playing in front of the fans that you're kind of one of. I mean, it must yeah. have been a special. And that time of your life, you know, does it get any better than that? No, it doesn't. I, the um, uh, I remember the moment I, I, I was. I think I was a ten-year-old, and I was first told, "Look, we Man City want you to come and play with the, you know, joining with the, the pretty good day then, yeah." Oh, it's a, <laughs> the, you know, the, one of the best moments of my life, just being told that you, you've got this chance, and and then. And, and for me, everything, uh, the debuts for all the teams, be, um, you, you know, the first debut for a City Nursery team, then the, um, you know, A-team debut, youth team debut, reserves and first team, absolutely. You were part of that team in the Youth Cup final as well with, you know, with all the lads that had come through you, like Inchcliffe and Brightwells. Yeah, and, yeah, and, that, and that, was a, that was a fantastic two years. I'm sure Skip will be here somewhere, Tony. I know Glyn, Glyn's here, I've seen him. Um, just an incredible two years of, of my life. You know, even if you'd have come out of that and um, not been taken on, or you know, even been released, it was just a magical couple of years, a, an, an incredible experience with somebody who'd been there and done it in, in Tonbrook. He, he's just a, a, an absolute legend in football, not not just at Man City. So that experience was was brilliant, and then to come through and play first team football with a lot of, with a lot of your mates that, you, that I'd known some of these people since I was. You know, 11, 12 years of age it was fantastic, and then a lot of us went and played for the England under 21. So it was and the first team. Don't forget that. Well, well yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, no, but it's true though. You know, no, you know, it was yeah, the one cap. But you know, the pinnacle surely of any football professional footballer is to put on your shirt of your country, and you know, and you did that. You got you got to that level. No, I did, and, and as you say, I, you know, I, I wanted to play a lot more games. Of course, I did. But the, the, again, the you talk about memories and. You know that that uh, that whistle being blown when I was on that pitch in Spain w was just like nobody can ever ever. Take I've got goosebumps now, and I were even there. <laughs> <laughs> so no, you're right, and you you know you you have you set yourself dreams, and I, I managed to achieve not all of them, but a lot of them. So and it was brilliant to be able to do it at a club I loved. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thanks for coming down. Sorry, now I've coming down. I mean, this is David White. This is I'm talking to David White. Forget Pikey. It's been amazing, mate. Great to see you again. Have a fantastic. I'm going to quickly steal it and just make sure that everybody knows that David's written a book that's just come out. Oh, see, yeah, yeah. You're, you're too much of a fanboy here. Um, I, I presume the book's incredible. Um, it's absolutely unbelievable. It's, <laughs> <laughs> 
No, is it out now? Andy, Andy's, Andy's just, uh, Andy Morris is just four or five yards away from me there. I'm sure waiting to come and speak to you. Yeah, I've read his book. It was wonderful. It's, it's, it's a different story. Um, you know, mine's a different story again. So hopefully, you know, it's not just your, your average somebody goes and plays football every week and um, so it is a little bit different um, I enjoyed doing it it was a it was a brilliant experience and, and uh, with Paul's wife Jo um, you know I, I wrote 100,000 words and she turned it into a book in all honesty so hopefully it'll go down well hopefully so it was out yesterday and hopefully people enjoy it. it's called uh, Shades of Blue so it's uh, which reflects you know my sort of my mind over a, over a several years and obviously different shades of blue at Man City that's, that's the whole idea of it so uh, hopefully people will go out there and have a read of it and enjoy it can't wait to read it I'm sure everybody's going to absolutely love it thank you so much for being here tonight it's lovely to see you again